Jose Young's here, the MMA fighting, speaking with Julia Vila at the UFC 239 meeting. And before we get into the fight questions, your nickname, Raging Panda, I have to ask the, the origin of that. I mean, you were showing off the tattoo oh, yeah. at the stare downs. What's the origin of this nickname? So um, actually a lot of people really want to give it a deep, meaningful meaning. I, I just really like pandas. <laughs> so what's called raging? Well, uh, raging. There is an homage um, paid tribute to um, my manager actually came up with it uh, to the boxer, the raging bull. So, um, oh, yes, he wanted to pay homage. Uh, so it's raging panda. And you are, and correct me if I mispronounce your name. I actually asked her to pronounce her name for me. I know I'm going to butcher you. You're, you're fighting P Panic Yanzad at UFC 239. Uh, she's filling in last minute. Uh, yeah. when we spoke to her and we asked her, this is a tough fight to come back to on a short notice against one of, we, many considered you one of the better 135ers outside outside of the UFC. And she said, well, she's, it's a fight no, short fight notice for her too. Yeah. So do, are you in that same boat where, you have to, you have to change your camp too. Well, um, it is a short notice fight for both of us, um, so that came uh, a little bit of a shock. But we worked around it. Um, as far as strategy goes for my opponent, it didn't really change up. I don't fight. I don't change my style according to my opponent. I fight my fight, and so I really plan on dictating where it goes. You know, God willing. <laughs> but. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Was there any fear that this, that you wouldn't be fighting on this card? Because this is a pretty massive card for a UFC debut. There was a little fear that I might not be fighting on this card, but um, you know, it came in, like, like you said, a little bit of short notice. Um, and I was super blessed that not only did I get my, my chance initially, but then I got the substitute with Panty stepping in short notice. Like it's, you know, it, it feels like it's meant to be. And this is her, she fought in the UFC before and then she lost. Now she's coming back. Did, did you watch her last fight? Or did you, have you watched tape? Are you one of those fighters that watches tape? Or do you know enough about her before this fight? I, we actually follow each other. Um, I follow her on social media. I always congratulate her. I always watch her fights. I support a lot of female fighters because it's a small community and we do need to stick together. Um, I have no problem, you know, beating my best friend up if I need to. Um, as long as it's agreed upon situation. <laughs> um, but... I've, I have seen her fights and um, I know I know her her style and but I also know that she's been growing since then. So yeah, I'm really excited. I, I just know that she's super tough and she respects me and my skill set and I respect her and her skill set and we're just gonna beat the hell out of each other. And correct me if I'm wrong, you were previously scheduled to fight Sarah Kaufman, correct at Invicta? No, um, that was unofficial. Uh, yeah, I just kind of called her out. Um, but, you know, since then, she had the opportunity to fight for a uh, different uh, organization. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Now she's like at the, like, 145, like 155. 150. She's 155. Right. Um, you know what? She's a tough lady. If And she's been winning. So uh, I just want to test myself. And that's it. I want to test my skills. Um, I, You know, I have a career. This is just fun. And what are your, what, when you're a type, are you the type of fighter, like I spoke with Israel Adesanya when, when he was very early in his UFC career, and he was very much like, I'm going to be this guy, and then this guy, and then this guy. He basically laid his path out to the title. You're now you, making your UFC debut. Are you one of those types of fighter too, or are you just like, this fight, and then we can think about it? In 2020, I will be challenging for the, ch the championship title belt. Uh, I will earn my way there. Sure. And so who, will you be, who do you think you'll be facing then for this championship? Yeah, whoever the whoever the champ is. <laughs> so outside of fighting, I understand you're a geologist, correct? And big earthquake in yeah. recently. Yeah. So uh, outside of fighting, my day job is uh, I have my degree in geology and and I work for an oil company. But uh, <laughs> so I hope you guys feel the economy. Um, but actually, here in Las Vegas today, there was a 6.4 earthquake um, right in California that was felt down to Tijuana. So it was actually really huge and it was awesome. Um, so I was just Googling on my phone like where it was and everything, and I was kind of, you know, geogasming <laughs> all over the place. So there's not many fighters that get that hyped over an earthquake that's not even where they are. Yeah, um, you know, I'm just kind of a geo nerd and I get really excited about things like this. When we were driving in, I was telling my husband, like, look at all these rock formations and look at the red rock. And, uh, you know, it's all oxidation from the rocks and everything. And so 
just kind of geeking out. So you, but you have a full-time job outside of fighting? Yes. Is, yeah. the, is a goal ever to leave that world behind and focus strictly on fighting, or do you, can you not leave that world behind? No, I am first and foremost a student before an athlete. So I, you know, I went to college to earn my degree, and um, I will continue working for the company that I work for until uh, I can't responsibly handle it anymore. Right.